Hi, Stephen from Owner Disso. Well, I'm going to take a look at uh, about 16 different uh, Black Friday deals. I've scoured the internet, Amazon, Best Buy, Newegg, Walmart. So it's US-based, so I apologize for that. But if you do have any good deals that are available, you know, overseas in the UK, France, Russia, whatever, just, you know, put them in the comments below and that would help out uh, my viewers. So um, I've put them in what I thought was perhaps an uh, order of best deal, I guess. Um, but, of course, that's all down to individual preference. So over to Best Buy. And, of course, I'll have links in the in the description below for all these, of course. So over to Best Buy here, the Dell G3, 15.6-inch, 8 gigabytes of memory. No doubt it's going to be single channel, so budget for that. But you got a, it's a GTX 1660 Ti, and you've got a 512 gigabyte SSD. Now, probably runs a little bit hot, this laptop. I've not, uh, I've not tested it. I tested it last year, but, you know, it's $680.00. It's saving three hundred twenty dollars there. That's I think for 1660 Ti is great, and there's even an open box one for five hundred and seventy eight dollars. You know, and I think it's, I mean, yeah, it's it's not the best looking laptop, but you know, it certainly blends into, you know, probably a business environment to some degree. You know, um, but basically, yeah, um, got the ninth gen i5 9300H CPU, and it's. Uh, it's probably is only a 60 hertz display i uh, suspect at this price point but of course 1080p and i think the killer is of course the graphics card and the storage that you get here so over to newegg we've got the msi gl65 15.6 inch and uh, 9758 so you've got a six core cpu paired with a 1660 ti i think that's pretty nice and uh, you've got uh, eight gigabytes of ram no doubt single channel uh, but you do have a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, so that's nice. And I suspect, though, at this price level, it might only have the 60 hertz uh, panel. But still, it's $899, and I think that is uh, certainly worth, you know, picking up. Again, back over to Best Buy, we've got the Asus um, FX505 GT. Now, of course, I checked out the, uh, the AMD version of it. Now, and I wasn't a particularly great fan of the styling of it particularly but you know it does appeal to some people uh, but i think from a hardware perspective you know we're looking uh, for 580 dollars you get the gtx uh, 1650 and the i5 so that'll be um the i5 9300h perfect you know perfect for gaming and uh, i think for the gtx 1650 at this type of price level 580 dollars that is pretty awesome display wise now mine did have 120 hertz display so I'm um, not sure on this one. Again, it perhaps is, uh, you know, just it doesn't mention anything. So it's probably just 60 hertz. All right. So over to Walmart this time, we've got the MSI GL65 9SC. Now compared to the, uh, the other one over at Newegg before, that had a RGB keyboard. This, I think, just this is red only. It's a GTX 1650 this time. Single channel, 8 gigabyte of RAM. Again, you have the 512 gigabyte SSD, um, 95 uh, i5 9300H with the GTX 1650 for 649 dollars. I think that is a reasonable deal. Um, I think again, we're probably Walmart doesn't actually give give much in terms of details, but I suspect it is a 60 hertz uh, panel. Uh, in fact, it is a 60 hertz panel IPS. You know, so it's not going to be the best panel, but again, of course, it's budget. Uh, over to Amazon, we've got the MSI GF75 Thin, 17.3 inch. Now, I reviewed this one, but mine had the 9750H. This is cool, so it's just got the 4-core, 8-thread, 9300H. Um, now, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256GB SSD, and a GTX 1650. Now, I, I suspect this is the Max-Q version, which is what I think I had, but performance is pretty good, and certainly you should check out my review on this one. What I did like in particular was the very thin you know chin here so it was all screen the screen was very good good color accuracy even though it was only a 60 hertz panel um so i think it's, it's only good for if you want to do any video editing or photo editing work you know it's certainly a nice laptop and for 689 dollars i think that's not bad at all so over to best buy here we've got the hp 15.6 inch um it's a actually using an amd ryzen 5 35 50h that's four core eight threads uh, 2.1 uh, to 3.7 gigahertz and it's coupled with a gtx uh, 1050 um you know for 450 dollars that's pretty good isn't it you know it's the 1050 is still more than capable for you know if you want medium settings say so medium to high settings uh, depending on what resolution you want to do but or what game but it's uh, certainly good um you know green keyboard 
I think it's certainly quite decent. And that's been reduced by about $200. So that's worth checking out. Now over to uh, Amazon again. Got the Asus ROG um, G531GT. Now 9758, 6 core CPU, 15.6 uh, inch. Uh, and they got a GTX 1650. So, of course, the price is going to go up now since we've got the uh, the extra cores on the CPU. But I think, still think at $847, this is not too bad. You got a decent amount of storage, and uh, you know I think the cooling on this one is probably going to be fairly decent. Um, I I reviewed the uh, the 1660 Ti model, and the cooling on that was was great. So I I was a great fan of it, and the speakers were very good. Um, so. That'd be worth checking out now i think the keyboard on this is might just well might be just red by the looks of it but still i think that is pretty decent deal now again on amazon you've got, you've got a gigabyte aero 15 oled the 1660 ti uh, 97.50h and eight gigabytes of ram again yeah you just put another stick in there and you'll get better performance um we do have a good intel a 760p SSD. It's only two two and fifty six gigabytes, but you do have another slot in there to put another um, SSD in there to, to, you know, to increase your storage. Now, what I like about this is OLED. Now, I I did review this. I didn't have much time with it. I only had two days, but I loved it. I loved that panel. It's bright. It was like over four hundred nits. Great uh, visibility outdoors. The colours popped. Um, it's not a gaming panel, of course, but you know it's still gamed okay. I mean, you're going to get tearing, but um, I think for you know fourteen hundred dollars for that uh, OLED panel, it's just Drop dead gorgeous, and it performed pretty well. A bit of an undervolt would help the 9750H, of course. But what I did like about Gigabyte, they did have various power profiles, um, which was very nice to use. And of course, if you know, you can have good control of the fans as well. So if you want a silent system, you can do. That's a that's a very good option. Um, over to Newegg, they've got uh, a refurbished uh, laptop here. It's the Asus ROG Zephyrus GX501. Now, of course, this is an older one. You know. Big bezels, you know, of old, I suppose. But I, I actually reviewed this one too, and I actually really liked it. It was when they first came out with this sort of, this type of design with the, the the flap opening at the bottom, and it ran cool. I mean, run all day, and it ran cool. It's got the 1080 Max Q in it, which is probably running on par to like a 2060, perhaps, you know, give and take. Um, so it's, you know, not too bad at all. Of course, you've got G-Sync on this panel as well. It's 120 hertz. And uh, if I remember right, I think you might have had Thunderbolt. Look, can't quit him. I'll have to check on my review. Um, I don't think it mentions it here. But it was a good panel. It wasn't too bad. It Perhaps it doesn't. It also often doesn't have uh, Thunderbolt. But I think for $1,200, that is a, not a bad deal. All right, so now back over to Walmart. We're uh, increasing in price a little bit here, but the GE75 Raider. I did review this one as well, and it's... You know, it was one of my favorite laptops, to be honest. It was um, 17.3 inch RTX 2070 and 9758. This was the exact, actually, I reviewed one with 8758. So, and at that time, that was over $2,000. So, you know, we're looking here at $1,699. The RTX 2070 has a full powered one, 115 watt 2070. It's going to be good, uh, good performance. Beautiful steel series keyboard with the RGB lighting. Fantastic. And you get 16 gigabytes of ram and one terabyte of uh, nvme storage plus a terabyte spinning drive you know so you know 16.99 that is smashing now over to amazon not a laptop so i threw you this one didn't i yeah, so this is actually a webcam it's what i'm using now for this so you can judge the quality it's the uh, good old c920 and what i like about this is that uh, you can, you've got logitech software which you can zoom the camera in you can pan it left and right up and down to make it fit uh, quite nicely and it's nice and sharp 1080p and it's uh you know it's half price 50 bucks you know it's very good i really like that one so i thought i'd throw that one in for you guys uh so over to best buy i've got the lenovo yoga 730 it's a two-in-one i've always liked two-in-ones it's a 13 inch so it's very portable and it's very nice you know it's aluminium build and uh, touchscreen of course and you've got pen support so if you want to take notes and whatnot that is pretty nice now it uh, just comes with the um an i5 it'll be a u series uh, cpu so the 8250u so you're going to get decent battery life out of it you've got eight gigabytes of ram and it's just got HD graphics, so <clears throat> it's not like a gaming laptop. But for a two-in-one, $630, I think that's nice. And it's a nice little machine. And 
it's got Thunderbolt 3. So, you know, if you want a Thunderbolt 3 device that you know, attached to an eGPU, this is a good one. Uh, and in 13th slot, we've got the Lenovo S340 over at Best Buy for $480. It's a 15.6 inch display, AMD Ryzen 5. And with the uh, 3500U, that that's, uh, has a base clock of 2.1 gigahertz, um, up to 3.7 gigahertz, and it's got the Vega 8 graphics. So that's going to be good for playing games at low settings. Um, so, but you have a decent amount of storage and RAM, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte hard drive. So it could be an ideal laptop for for students. So probably decent battery life, and it's fairly cheap at $480. Again, we've got Best Buy, the HP Pavilion 360, another two-in-one. Um, this time only $500. Um, we've got the i5. Again, it'll be a 15 watt part. In fact, it's the new 10th uh, generation. So, yeah, 10 210U processors. It's got a new processor in it, <coughs> 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD. And I think for a, you know, a pen enabled device, 14 inch, lightweight, $500. That's not bad at all. Now, there won't be any Thunderbolt 3 on this, I don't believe, but it uh, should be pretty sweet. Now, over to Best Buy, and we're looking at the, the perhaps, you know, ideal for students or something like this, um, $350. You know, we've got, we're talking just uh, uh, the i5, 15 watt part, 8265U, 8 gigabytes of RAM, integrated graphics. Um, you do have a, an SSD of 256 gigabyte. And, uh, you know, it's a solid machine, good reviews. $350 if you want to take it for, to, you know, writing your notes on. I think that's a nice little deal. And finally, we've got the HP Spectre 360, another two-in-one. A little more expensive this time. You know, we're looking at $1,100, but it does have 4K uh, touchscreen laptop, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, and it's a beautiful laptop. It's uh, so look at the CPU. The CPU again, it's the 10th generation. I actually did check out this CPU. I I, I don't think it was the, the fastest CPU, but it certainly you know gave good battery life, and it does have MX250 graphics. So you can get away. I've actually got a little video coming up with, with how this will perform in gaming. I wouldn't class it as a very good gaming machine, particularly. Um, that CPU seems to hold it back a little bit. But it's a beautiful looking machine. You've got the diamond cut edges here with the USB ports. You know, it's all aluminium. Very smart. So anyway, I hope you, uh, you found those useful. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.